Hi, let's take a look at some top-down design and decomposition in Carol. Carol's in a new world. She has to reach the end of her row by moving forward, but she's got a couple hurdles in her way. So let's break this problem down into some manageable steps. First, she needs to run to the first hurdle. Then, Carol needs to jump that hurdle. Now, the spaces are the same between the two hurdles, so she needs to run to the next hurdle and jump that hurdle using the same functions. The last step, she needs to run to the finish, and there's four spaces there instead of just three, so we have to create a new function for that. Let's do the first function, the run to hurdle. For run to hurdle, Carol needs to move forward three spaces, so we'll add three move commands here. Now, to test this, we need to call our main function to run through all of the different functions that we're doing. So let's call that main function and run our program to test it out. Uh-oh, jump hurdle isn't defined yet. So let's go ahead and define those other functions that we just haven't created yet. So function jump hurdle, we'll define that function, but we'll add the code in between a little bit later. And then let's also define function run to finish. And now when we test out our code, it should be able to run through those. We may get an error because we haven't finished the code in those other functions yet. Yep, there's our error. But you can see that Carol did move forward three spaces as we intended. Now to jump the hurdle, Carol's first going to need to turn left. And then she'll move forward one space. And then turn right and then we'll call another move command, and then she'll turn right again, move another space, and then turn left so that she's positioned so that she can move forward to the next hurdle. Now let's give that a try and see if that works. Uh-oh, we've got another error. Carol doesn't know how to turn right, so I think we're going to have to create another function here. Let's create a turn right function so that we can teach Carol how to turn right. Now that involves three turn lefts. So we're going to write the turn left command three times, and that will be equivalent to positioning her as if she were turning right. Now let's test our code out again and see what happens. And she's able to move forward and jump over both hurdles. And now for the last function, running to the finish. And like we said before, there's four spaces instead of three this time. So we're going to move forward four times. And then she should end up at the end of the row. Let's give it a shot and see what happens. All right, we broke down our problem and got Carol to the end of the row.